Greetings, my friends. It is a grave matter, indeed, that the corpse fleet seems so intent on keeping you from following the cult of the Devourer's trail, even to the point of attempting to eliminate you. I presume that means they are now searching for the stellar degenerator as well. The corpse fleet is not to be trifled with, and its schemes perpetually frustrate the Eoxians here on Absalom Station. The Eoxian delegation diligently reports the efforts their planet undertakes to curb the corpse fleet's activities, but they never seem to make a dent in the threat. Given your run-ins with the corpse fleet of late, I have kept my antennae in the air. My contacts in the Eoxian embassy here on the station have worked with a bureaucrat and historian in Eox's Ministry of Eternal Vigilance, named Vaneda Trux. She is posted in the city of Orphis and handles reports about corpse fleet activity on Eox. According to my contacts, Miss Trux recently received some indications that the fleet's agents are up to something, perhaps recruiting for a big mission or gathering resources. It's unclear. But, following any leads that Miss Trux has gathered could very well reveal the corpse fleet's plot for the stellar degenerator, and, if we are lucky, the coordinates where the cultists from the Star Eater's spine fled to. Vaneta Trux's office is located in a district of Orphis called The Splice. I have informed her that you will be arriving soon. I will not misrepresent Eox. It is a dead world, and it will not be comfortable, even for representatives of the Starfinder Society on official business. But, Eox is a member of the Pact Worlds, so one can expect a certain amount of civilization. <coughs> I am sure I do not need to remind you, but this mission is of the utmost priority. You must meet one of the troops and find the location of the stellar degenerator. You must keep it out of the hands of the corpse fleet and the cult of the devourer. Everything could be at stake. End the transmission. Vaneda is a ghoul, but she was once human and a resident of Absalom Station. Her relatively recent transition to undeath makes her slightly more accommodating to the Starfinder Society than most Eoxians. Apparently, in life, Vaneda was obsessed with Eoxian history and the cataclysm that prompted most of the planet's population to turn to undeath. Vaneda became intent on achieving immortality with the Eoxian's help. She succeeded, but she spent all of her wealth on the processes and treatments required to achieve her transformation into a ghoul. Given her knowledge of Eoxian culture and history, she then sought work with the planet's government. It was Ambassador Gavalask Nor himself who offered Vaneda a position at the Ministry of Eternal Vigilance. The Ministry of Eternal Vigilance is a bureaucratic branch of the Eoxian government, though a very small branch, to be honest. Eoxian law requires citizens to report all corpse fleet activity they witness or suspect. The Ministry takes these reports and provides copies to interested parties as necessary. Law enforcement agencies, the Eoxian Embassy on Absalom Station, or the stewards. In fact, Eox's ambassadors and government officials make a dutiful show of regularly handing over all of the Ministry's reports to the stewards. It's very important that the Pact Worlds know that the Eoxians are making every possible effort to disavow and eliminate the corpse fleet. It's a very thorough system designed to ease the fears of other Pact Worlds members and help Eox avoid any blame for the Corpse Fleet's actions. Of course, in practice, the system is not so smooth. 
The Oxians file precious few reports about the corpse fleet, given the planet's population. Some say there are a significant number of corpse fleet sympathizers among the residents of Eox's necropolis, as well as among the bone sages who rule the planet. Vanita Trux is the director, and only full-time employee, of the Ministry of Eternal Vigilance. All reports of corpse fleet activity on Eox cross her desk, at least officially, and her office keeps files on every reported incident. Unfortunately, there are also reports of Eoxian citizens who provide real information about the corpse fleet being intimidated or even attacked by corpse fleet sympathizers who believe a Librian should not betray their own kind. This surely does not make Vanita's job any easier. Given the supposed ambivalence that many Eoxians exhibit toward the corpse fleet, it is perhaps no surprise that Ambassador Nor installed a non-Elibrian in this post. A human ghoul would likely be less intimidating than a powerful necrovite, and thus more likely to receive reports from citizens. In addition, a former human would have no sympathy for the corpse fleet, as an Elibrian or other native Eoxian might. The last impression Ambassador Nor wants to give the Pact Worlds is that Eox is not taking the corpse fleet threat seriously. No, I do not believe so. Her job is strictly to take reports from Eoxian citizens regarding the corpse fleet. She's not a law enforcement agent, and her superiors do not want her or her ministry to get personally involved in such situations. However, she should be able to give you the most up-to-date leads about the corpse fleet's activities on Eox. Certainly, quite safe. All of Orphis is contained beneath an atmosphere dome, so even living creatures can venture about without taking personal environmental protection measures. Vanita Trux has agreed to allow you the use of an empty office in the headquarters of the Ministry of Eternal Vigilance. The local authorities know that you are coming, and that you are Starfinders on official business, so you should not have any official interference. On the other hand, I hear that many of Eox's undead citizens can be downright rude to the living so you would be wise to be prepared for anything. But Eox is otherwise quite safe, I assure you. <laughs>